welcome back to Ella Games. So I know that I said I wasn't gonna, I was gonna have like a bit of a break after finishing the epilogue for Red Dead Redemption 2, but I am already back after just a few days. I have a lot of questions to be honest. I have a lot of questions, I have a lot of thoughts, and I feel like I just, I kinda wanna jump back in and do a, like a little bit of an analysis or kind of a recap of sort of how the game ended and a bunch of stuff that happened in the, happened in the credits. Um, so yeah, we are gonna play the game in a minute, but first I kind of wanted to spend like a little bit of time talking about the credits, basically. I do have thoughts on and I kind of, I don't know, felt like it'd be fun to sort of go through it with you guys and then, uh, yeah, you guys can comment below as well. And then after that, so all I've done, back up, all I've done is, um, rather than react to the video, I've just taken screenshots of the scenes because I put them in a different order. And there is a reason for this. So you'll, when we talk about them, they're gonna be in a different order to how they're shown actually in the credits because I've kind of chopped them up um, into sort of what I want to talk about um, and this way I can also be able to just pause and think about the scene rather than like it playing out because I get kind of distracted by visuals and then after that we are gonna jump back in as John and uh, kind of see obviously we have the Evelyn Miller mission um, we've got a lot of farm chores to do um, it looked like we had some new additions on the ranch, like a new building. I don't know what the building was supposed to be, maybe like a lookout or something, I'm not sure. Or like a windmill maybe, I'm not entirely sure what it was. But I want to go look at that. Um, I mean we have a treasure map, we have heaps of collectibles to do, we have heaps of challenges to do, which we're obviously not all going to get done in one episode. But like I said, there are going to be, I think this game is going to continue on the channel for a long time, or at least content about Red Dead is going to continue on the channel. Um, I actually was thinking about maybe doing some ranking videos, like um, character ranking, and then you guys can all argue in the comments about who your favourite characters are, and um, that might be kind of fun. But yeah, for now, let's dive in and talk about these end credits. It's just so weird seeing Sadie, like, dressed like that. Because I think I commented on that in the finale, that she, like, got all, like, fancied up for the wedding. Which is cute, but it's so weird seeing her <laughs> in a dress again. I, I don't know, is this immediately after the wedding? Because even Jack's in like a little tux as well. But then Abby, Abigail and John aren't dressed up and Uncle isn't dressed up anymore. I don't know. I don't know what this was meant to be right after, so we'll see. This was obviously Charles is leaving, right? And didn't he say he wanted to go to Canada and like find a girl, settle down, have a family? Um, so I'm guessing that's what he's he's like taking off now. This is like the end of his story with John and Abigail. Again, I don't know if it, most of these characters are in the first game. Um, obviously, don't spoil it for me. <laughs> we'll, um, we'll figure that out in good time. But I don't know. Maybe this is the last time we see Charles. Sadie's also leaving now. But what did she say where she was going to go? Mexico? She said she was going to go to Mexico, right? Or like South America, I think. Maybe she just said South America, so more general. Um, again, I don't know if Sadie's... I guess, I'm guessing that Sadie isn't in the first game too, so it's kind of weird that we probably are like not really going to see her again. It looks like Uncle's sticking around. I don't think... I, I don't, I'll see in a minute because I've screenshot everything, but I feel like I don't remember seeing a scene of Uncle leaving, so I guess he's sticking with us for a while. This scene. Okay, this scene was interesting. Because, am I supposed to know who that is? Like, is that Charles or Sadie leaving? Or is this just, like, a vista? Like, this isn't anything. <laughs> I might be, maybe am I overanalyzing what's happening? I might be. So this is Mary Beth, obviously. But it's kind of wild to me that, like, Mary Beth became a writer. Now it's crazy. Now I feel like I need to go all the way back to the start of the game and pay a little more attention to some of these side characters. Because I'm like, did Mary Beth talk about writing or was she always reading? Like, I'm like, I need to go back and like rewatch 
some of my old footage to see if she ever spoke about wanting to be a writer because we've been playing this for about eight months so a lot of that, those early conversations with people get I've gone a bit like scrambled in my brain but it's so cool that she actually was successful is she based on anyone that's another thing I was kind of curious about if she's like actually based on a real female writer or if she's just like completely made up, I don't know. This one, that's Tilly, right? I was such an idiot. I was watching this and it did not click to me who that was because I'd completely forgotten that about Tilly. And I remember when we started the epilogue, I was so, I, I think I questioned where Tilly had got gotten to. And this must be in Saint Denis, right? So when you guys were telling me to go to Saint Denis and there's like a interaction there, I'm assuming it's with Tilly. And it's like, she's, I'm like, she is cool too. Like, is this her husband? I guess she's got a baby. Um, I'm guessing that she put her, like, quarter of the money or however much money she got to good use. Okay, this moment was interesting to me as well because, so this is Pearson. Obviously, we went and saw him in the shop in Rhodes. So he's like the shop owner there now. Um... But like, oh, these end credits are making me kind of rethink my entire interactions with everyone. I feel like I don't know that much about Pearson. Like, you know, he was he was the cook. And he, him and Sadie would always argue. He teaches you, you like skin the deers and then he cooks it up. So he's a very important character, but I don't know, I feel like I don't actually know that much about him and maybe... I should have spent a bit more time talking with him because he's probably one of the characters that I really didn't talk to that much. Um, but then this moment is interesting because of what the photograph he's looking at. This kind of, I don't know, makes him a bit more interesting to me. Like he's hung up a picture of the gang in his shop. And he's obviously looking at it. It's, I don't know, it's a little bit heartbreaking. It kind of like, makes me, I don't know, sympathize a little bit more with his character, make me a little more interested in him because I kind of can't remember his backstory and I feel kind of shitty that I can't remember it. But f so it's um, Susan, Dutch, Abigail, right? And then that's Pearson. Who's sitting behind Pearson with the wide brimmed hat? Is it Bill? Is that meant to be Arthur or is that meant to be Sean? Because I feel like Sean used to wear a hat like that. And then who's the one standing up at the back? I don't know, you guys are going to have to let me know who the people behind Pearson and on the top of the wagon are. Because it's kind of hard to make out. I feel like I need to zoom in, but it's, the more I zoom in on it, it becomes less clear because it's grainy. <laughs> but I think that's Bill because Bill was like a big guy, right? He was a pretty big guy. But Dutch looks young there as well. I don't know. You guys are going to have to let me know who those top people are. Unless there's some... Because obviously there was a few people that died before the game even started. Um, so I don't know. Maybe it's them. <gasps> I've just realised who this is. Oh my god. I'm an idiot. I've literally just realised who this is. This is... um. The Downs. I don't know why I always think they're called the Banks. I don't know why I always think that. But now I'm looking closer at it, that's Mrs. Downs, right? Am I wrong? It looks like Mrs. Downs. He doesn't look like the kid, but... So yeah, I guess this is, if this is the Downs, it means that they took that money and they like made it out okay, right? I, I, I can't remember where they said they might go, New York? Is, are they going to New York? I don't know, you guys let me know, but confirm to me that this is the Downs, <laughs> the son and the Mrs. Downs. This kind of bummed me out a little bit when it came on the screen because this was one of the things I really wanted to go and see in the game. I would have liked to have seen that for myself. It kind of, I guess, is sort of a spoiler, um, but we are gonna go see the grave today. And that's definitely what, something I wanna do today. So what does it actually say? Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. <laughs> oh, I'm 
one of you guys told me that Charles was the one who actually came and went back and buried Arthur and I think he buried everybody in like the same spot. So you would assume that Charles was also the one to um, create this headstone. <clears throat> okay, moving on before we get all tongue-tied and upset. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, Mary came to visit. And this is interesting because like you guys have to let me know as well. How long after the death, like his death is this? But is this years later? Is this like immediately after? Who told her where to find the grave? Like there's so many little things. I'm, I'm like, did Charles reach out to Mary somehow and let her know where his grave was? But just the fact that she's wearing all black like, she's obviously in mourning, but I'm curious to how long after he died did she keep wearing black in his honour. Yeah, I'm excited to actually go and see the graves ourselves and perhaps the other people will also have um, quotes dedicated to them. And obviously this scene is deeply tragic because he has, they're like this, um, not that I thought it was going to be happy because obviously it has to be you know, a little bit historically accurate, but the way that there really was no justice for his tribe and his land. Obviously his son also his son died, um Eagle Flies died. And him like looking out on what used to be his people's land all these years later. I'm guessing this might have been right before he jumped on the train maybe. Oh, his people are gone, his son is gone. The Native American storyline was really hard to stomach in a way because I guess you kind of knew that there wasn't going to be any justice and the way that they were kind of manipulated and used by Dutch was hard to watch I think and it was hard too because the game forces you to take part in it even though Arthur obviously isn't happy with that decision, you're still forced to kind of go along with Dutch's plan. And I really would have just stopped it and not been part of it at all, but that is the story that the game was telling. And unfortunately, it is very accurate and very tragic. Obviously this part, that's evil flies. Very sad imagery for him to be like looking out on and I'm getting all welled up now because his was that they the Native American storyline came in so late but at the same time it was very poignant um, and it was very it was very in line with the themes of the game in that you know and they say over and over again like the good old days are gone the the kind of industrial revolution is taking over the world is moving on and then all these people, which in some way includes the Native American people, their way of life is diminishing and being sort of trodden on. And there is kind of no survivability for outlaws and there's no survivability for these tribes people because they're like in the capitalist machine or whatever uh, of like the Western society is just trampling on everything. and. There's just no way to survive in that climate if you're anything outside of that scope. So the way that theirs kind of mirrored the feelings of that Dutch would always talk about, obviously very different, like Dutch and his gang were criminals and the tribes people weren't doing anything wrong. It was just pure racism and imperialism. But it was interesting, like the mirroring of kind of the dawn of the new age sort of wiping out both of those kind of lifestyles at the same time and then obviously even Dutch's little comment is it Dutch or Micah who says it sorry I think it might I think it, it's Micah actually and he says like it's a new century like Arthur's been gone a long time it just goes to show that this like very important person to us the player was just this like tiny little piece of a much bigger game going on like Arthur in the grand scheme of this world was just this like tiny little character but he just did so much 
for the small group of people around him. I'm getting choked up again talking about it. <laughs> it just makes things seem sort of inconsequential, which I guess maybe is one of the themes of the game, like to Dutch and the gang and John and everyone, this was everything to them, this lifestyle. But to everyone else, it was like a bygone era that had to go for the world to move on. I don't know, that's sort of an interesting theme that kept coming up in the game and it's kind of mirrored in, I suppose, the Native American people, but they had no choice. It was very much like die, be moved off your land or assimilate. All right, so this, is, so this is why I did it in the wrong order because I wanted to put this little story line that was in the credits together because you kind of see all of these bits um, chopped up um, so I kind of wanted to talk about them as one. So obviously these are like detectives. Are these Pinkertons? Did s someone just come here to investigate because of the sounds, like the gunshot sounds? Or is, um, did someone actually like tip them off? Or were they already looking for Micah? Because they're like way up in the mountains, so. And like, are these two detectives in, don't spoil it, rhetorical question. <laughs> But are these two detectives going to be in the first game? Are they like actual characters? Or are they just like random detectives? I don't know. Kind of interesting. They are dressed very fancy for detectives. So it kind of makes me think that they're like FBI. Did the FBI exist back in this time? And then, yeah, they're just asking, questioning more people. I kind of took screenshots of all this because I was curious to whether there were going to be any people we recognized. Um, right, and then they obviously turn up at the ranch. So the person they're looking for is John Marston. But I'm kind of like, why would Mars why would John be so hunted down? Like he was a fairly small part of the gang. Like he wasn't Dutch's like secondhand man. Like really, it would be like Dutch, Micah, obviously Arthur's deceased, but. Wouldn't they be after Dutch? Unless are they after John because they're after Dutch? But I don't know, I'm guessing this has to do with the first game and I just like don't know that yet. <laughs> um, but I, I, I don't know. It'd be cool if these were actual characters that, for those of you who played the first game first, as you, sh you know, supposed to back in the day, if these are actually characters that you guys recognize. It makes me want to literally download Red Dead 1 and play it right now because I'm so curious to see what happens. So I've obviously turned up at the ranch and that's like the big hint about the first game. And then this bit, what the hell is this? Is this like another Easter egg for the first game? Again, maybe there's rhetorical questions. If I'm asking spoiler questions, just say you cannot answer them. Just say, tell me to shut up. But like, this is clearly not in America, right? It kind of looks like Mexico. Like, a church? What, what? I don't know what a church would have to do with anything. <laughs> but it, I, it must be a location in the first game. That's sort of what I'm thinking. Um, but obviously, this is more of maybe a fun thing for people who have played the first game to kind of cap, like, understand straight away. I don't know. It really makes me want to just download the game and start playing it today. <laughs> Because I'm so curious. Because now we know that Dutch is out there. So I'm like, is Dutch in the first game? Maybe. <laughs> it would be kind of wild if Dutch was in the first game as well. Because then it's like, would Arthur get mentioned between if John and Dutch are going to run into each other again? Or was Arthur like a retcon character? I don't know. I'm so fascinated to find out though. Alright guys, we are back in the game now. Um, so, thank first of all, thank you to anyone who actually just listened to me ramble on about the... Oh my god, we have $20,000? That's the... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> this is the richest we've ever been. Anyway, thank you to anyone who actually just listened to me ramble on about the end credit scenes for 30 minutes or whatever. <laughs> 
what I actually recorded for about 30 minutes hopefully I cut that down about 20 because I don't think anyone wants to listen to all that um, but thank you if you did and if you didn't that's perfectly okay as well you can now watch me play the game <laughs> so I wanted to check it said we wrote something in our journal um, yes oh wait what was it that say at the bottom uh, oh yeah, no, we've read that. Abigail and Jack came back. Whole of my life suddenly makes some kind of sense. If only I could pay off these damn debts, and if this, and if only I could have been a different man all these years, I wasted being a fool. <laughs> I'm getting married. She thinks I'm a real fool, and she's right. Only she don't know quite why I'm a fool. <laughs> so cute. We got married and we danced, and Uncle made us laugh, and Jack seemed real happy. Sadie left after she fixed, her, fixed herself up. Oh, of course, because she was very injured. Charles went off hunting something or other, as I knew he would. Uncle ain't going anywhere. Saw Dutch. Damn near broke my heart again after all this time. Wanted to kill him, but I didn't. Saw Micah and was never glad to see a man die. Whatever peace and happiness I can find in this world, I know it's a better place with him out of it. Absolutely. Nice. <gasps> yes, look at all our, look at our beautiful farm. And we look so nice and smart. I want to go see. It's, uh, it's about night. Night. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like so weirdly nostalgic being back, even though it's only been like four hey, days. Free, Hi, Jack. I want to beat up six Englishmen in a bar in Canada, knock them all out. Really? Is that true? Why? Other exes. Just gets on a fella's nerves, you know. <laughs> I'll tell you something strange that isn't in that book of yours. Mm -hmm. Come and get it, you charming animal. You know the English animal. had talking horses. Uh, You're what? kidding me. What's he talking about? Lie, Jackie boy, I met them talking horses in Canada. Brian was his name. <laughs> it's just one problem, though. What? Yeah. Horses is boring as hell. <laughs> Worse than Englishmen. <laughs> It's true. Shut up. Oh, I didn't even press anything and he already told him to shut up. Okay. What is this? What is this? Why would they have a ladder here that you can't climb? What is this weird building? A silo or something? Can I get in? No? Okay. Oh, can I get in this way? No. Hmm. I don't know what this building is. Alright, should we go have family dinner? I did say I wanted to do that because I was kind of curious about what they would talk about. <laughs> dinner time! <gasps> oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait. Hello. Rufus, boy. <laughs> How long has it been, um, is this immediately after the whole Micah thing? Or is it like a couple of months later? I'm not sure. Woof, woof. <laughs> so cute. Okay, let's go look what our house looks like. It might look different now. She got all that nice new furniture. Oh my god. So nice and pretty. Yes, let's sit down to dinner. That'll fill you up. Oh, what happened? You can't complain about this food. <laughs> this place is good, eh? Yeah, it looks great. Can I talk to them? Everyone seems to be leaving us. Charles, Sadie. Oh, don't you worry, John. I ain't going anywhere. <laughs> you bury me here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you got any idea when that'll be? Let me know. Please. <laughs> okay. Hi. You okay, woman? Never better. Mm, me neither. Oh, we've got supplies. Me neither. Oh, everyone's so happy. So, we finally made this family honest, son. That's, uh, great, Pa. Really? I was glad you were there for it. We're a family. That's how it should be. 
Hmm. Everything's so happy. I love it. Why are you looking at me? What does our room look like? <gasps> Beautiful. Look at this. Okay. All right. Thanks. Good. I guess we have nothing really to look for. Um. What are these pictures of? Are they just like animals? Okay. How sweet. Wait, who's playing the piano? Hiya. Abigail. You sound really good. The case of the deceitful I German. I wonder who that's about. Sorry. The case of the shrew in the fog. An American Eden, American Inferno, Existence and Oblivion, Farmfield and Falcony, Get Rich Quick. Are these like all the books we collected uh, throughout the game? That's cool. What's in here? And we got a bath. Very nice. Should we shave? Maybe look a bit cleaner. I think that's nice. Pomade hair. Beautiful. Beautiful, stunning. Um, change clothing. Do we just have all of Arthur's stuff? Yeah. Let's put Arthur's hat on, hey? Uh, yeah, let's keep Arthur's hat on. I know we have fancier clothes, but it makes me feel happy <laughs> to have Arthur's stuff on. All right. Nice. So, I guess because it's the one that's like on the map at the moment, we go to the Evelyn Miller mission. It looks like there's a lot of stuff down here we can look at as well. Maybe that will be a whole other episode though, because I feel like it will take a long time to uncover everything that's in that area. Um, but I guess let's go see what Evelyn Miller's up to. Uh, can I pat him? No? I don't know why I couldn't pat him then. Alright, bye everyone! See you later! <laughs> there, boy. There, boy. campfire. Hello? Who's this? <laughs> I kind of feel very glad that we can just like, I don't know, roam around, have a bit of fun. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, hello there, friend. Uh, do you have a minute? Oh, hi. I haven't seen you in ages. Have I we even ever seen him herbs for my studies. as John? I don't think so. Yeah. Okay. Oh, good, good. The name's William, by the way. Hello. I need to collect a big batch of this current here. You'll find mm -hmm. the fruits hanging from bushes. It doesn't thrive near water, so I wouldn't waste your time looking there. Okay. What's so special about these berries, anyway? Perhaps <laughs> quite a lot. I eat them when I need to clear my head. They can make quite a meal for a horse, too, providing you Fair prepare enough. it right. Those plants may take some searching. I'd get started. Oh, okay. Two okay, boy. berries, did he say? Where, where's the plants I can pick? Uh, oh, I see some over there. I mean, it says surrounding area, so I'm assuming they're not like Miles and miles. Oh, was that just. Uh, might have been the animals I saw actually. <gasps> Pick. Yes. Ah, I see. Okay. One out of two. 
We'll just pick them all, I guess. <gasps> the sky looks beautiful. What you get? Alright, well that wasn't too hard. <laughs> Compared to some of the other plants. How did you get on? Uh, spread it all out on the table here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got it right here. Let's have a good look at this. Hmm, yeah, this is perfect. What do we make? What are we making? This will make a fine meal for my horse, uh, if I don't keep it all for myself. When <laughs> I drink a tonic from these currants, it's like the clouds fall away. I can focus on anything. <laughs> You've been a great help. I've bottled up this tonic for you as a reward. Okay. Uh, this special <laughs> elixir will set you right, no matter your wrong. It's okay, all makes the, the miracle the tonic. natural world can offer. Now, if you don't Thanks. mind, I'll be getting back to my studies. I look forward to our next meeting, traveler. Thanks. Can't believe you're still doing this after all those years. Bill, what are you doing, man? You are absolutely crazy. Did you pat him? There you go. You'll be okay, buddy. <laughs> Alright. Up, up, up. Oh my god, that Henry Lameau mission just keeps coming up. <laughs> it's relentless. We don't care about that one. Level four. I wonder, maybe one day I will try the Henry Lameau thing again, but I just... <laughs> I don't know if the glitch will have like fixed itself or not. That's it. Yes. My my, the reticent cowboy. Hello. <laughs> I, you never told me your name. Jim. No. John Marston. Which? John Marston. Long story. I'm a writer. I love stories. Ah, <laughs> uh, another time. Guess I was <laughs> thinking about you claim to be. I'm trying, John. My wife didn't understand. Doesn't understand the parish priest has taken to writing me missives about the exact nature of my sins the parish priest can you imagine oh what a petty-minded lot they are i was attracted by my fraudulent fame by the idea of me as some kind of provincial seer oh, it makes me sick mm -hmm. but here i live like a man i'm feeble but alive <laughs> i'm a man for the first time in my life i'm a man so okay, he abandoned his wife? <laughs> I'm still a coward, okay. but a real man would happily die rather than live as I do. Uh, I don't know about that. We... We're all scared of something. Something within us. But me? True. I'm nothing but fear. Fear and doubt and lies. Just a glimpse of how other men have coped and lived and survived and flourished. There are days when I sit here and weep about all the things that I've lost. We've lost, we true Americans, we peasants. We are killing this place, John Marston. Killing what? This, this great beauty, this truth. Well, that is true. What are you true. talking about? Come, let me show you. Where are we headed? Prepare to be shocked. Oh dear, oh dear. Come along. Follow me. Unless you're showing me Bigfoot, you should know. <laughs> I'm not so easily shocked, Mr. Miller. But you will be. Wait until you see the waste. The boundless appetites of these men. I know you will be horribly shocked because I see that frontier spirit in you. Well, this is kind of what I was talking about the harmony with nature that in us, the um, us credit analysis. Have so lamentably lost. I hate to spoil your impression of me, the pursuit but of industrialization I and what it has done just as often as from my to this land and these lifestyles. Oh no! Up there! The poor creature is caught in a bear trap! John, can you do something? Uh, let me see. Huh? The cruelty of it. If you could pry oh. it open, it may recover. Easy there. Oh, a doe. Let me try and get you out of this. Those contraptions, they are unforgiving and indiscriminate. You did oh, it! I hate it's the little noises they make. A second chance at life. Go on. Maybe. 
long as that wound don't go bad. <sighs> also, can we go and hunt the bear that attacked us in the last episode? Is that possible? Come on. We have further to Or is it just a cutscene? I was kinda wondering that if we we can go back and find the bear that they could have set that trap. Hunters? On that bounty hunt? I've seen hunters, sir. Like I said, I've been one myself. Hunting for food or skins is one thing. But dredging rivers, burning out forests, killing everything you that find, is a whole leaving all different the thing. most valuable parts to rot. That is who these men are. They are the rapaciousness of our financial markets let loose in the wilderness. The sign that our way of life has come to an end. That is so weird, because that is exactly what I was saying in the credits analysis bit. <laughs> You men are heathens, ignoble savages, uh -oh. animals. Shit! Look, look at what What's you. What's your problem? You, 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 oh, you, the hell? Uh, uh, oh dear. What, Evelyn? Are you gonna help me? Both of you. Do I just have to do this myself? Where's Evelyn? you do this oh, that that was clarity john <laughs> this i'm trying to be a good guy place, <laughs> this is heaven and hell the duality i think you got hit on the head come on let's get you out of here before more of them show up but i think we've made our point now, come on let's go <laughs> i don't want to shoot anyone where's my hat pick it up no, that's the wrong one. Ew, I don't want that hat. Pick up Arthur's hat. There we go. What is that noise? <laughs> Wait, is that it? Evelyn? <laughs> Evelyn, where's he go? Where did he go? <laughs> did he just abandon me? Easy there. Evelyn? on with some guys and then he bailed that was the whole mission okay i'm guessing something i'm guessing we can probably see him again at some point what guns do we have on us at the moment okay that was weird what's this light over here There's someone. Hello? What's on the map? Hello? Jesus. What's that? I don't know. What are we looking at? <laughs> Something ain't right. See. You alright, man? Hello? Oh, Jesus. You get attacked? Hey. Oh. Get out of here. The Skinners are here. Sorry, keep going, sir. Skinners? They might be 
Skinner Brothers are insane. They came in the night. We gotta take care of them, John. Like jackals from hell. The screams! <laughs> oh my god. Something off. Screaming? Why would they why would they do that? Are you alive? <gasps> Sorry. I forgot I had my gun drawn, I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. oh my god, I'm so scared I'm about to be ambushed. You there? Oh, yes, I'm still here. You there? I, I, I'm coming. Did he see the light? I don't really need to loot anyone, to be honest. We have so much money now. <laughs> Can't see anyone. Oh, excuse me, sorry. <laughs> oh my God, the Skinner brothers are like demons. What the hell? Ooh, it's a bit spooky out here. You look like an honest enough feller. If I could interest you in bounty work, the poster's on the wall. Okay. Inspect. Elias Green? Elias Green captured dead or a like $90 bounty. Wow. He's wanted on warrant for murder and mutilation of six settlers near Manzanita Post. He's a member of the Skinner Brothers gang and is considered extremely dangerous. Last seen in the Great Plains area, Green is stocky and wears animal skins, a bear hat, a buckskin shirt. Ooh. It's a sorry situation with them mongrel dogs, the Skinner Brothers. Just when you thought this country had been civilized. You hear what they've done up near tall trees? Might be where to look for him, if you can stomach it. I don't think you'll be bringing him in alive, oh. but sure as hell I'd love to spit in his eye before he hung. The mountain country's full of Skinner brothers. You tell me why this one, Elias Green's got a warrant on him. I'd send you after every last one of them jackals if I could. I mean, could. we found that base. The reason this one's got his picture up is the mayor signed off on it. That's that. Right. Got it. Give my best regards, will you? Okay. Yeah, is it... Is he just, like, at the... Oh, no, he's in here. Because they're... I think the... Is that a gang territory? Was this Thieves' Landing? Which is interesting. Armadillo? Austin? Oh, this is Austin. That's what you guys were talking about. Exploring Austin night. So we have this whole other area to look at. It's crazy. Okay, so I'm looking for Tilly. Where is Tilly? Someone said she's in a park. But I'm like, maybe I just can't find her. Um, after we finish the game. I hope that's not the case, because I really would like to see her. Let women vote. It's time to let women oh, the... vote. <laughs> Wait, where'd they gone? Tells your name. Huh? Oh, she's here. Make Hi. this country a real democracy. Stop disqualifying half the population. We are women. Mrs. Not Wicklow, monsters. Yeah. We deserve the right to vote as much as you. Can I? Good morning. Hi. You know, it's terribly important. What is? Vote? We know. Yes, terribly. We can have Let's this exact same conversation with Arthur. The whole country will stop making such a pig's ear of everything. 
There'll be no more wars, no hunger, no stupidity. We'll elect a woman mm. president within the first 10 years, of course. Unfortunately, see, women can be just are as such judgmental prigs. Bad as you need us women <laughs> to help straighten you out. Okay? With us helping. I'm not saying there won't be trouble. I just There will be trouble. We'll do a better job of things. I hope you're right. But hey. Good luck. Yeah, good luck. Bonjour. Okay. Alright, let's check this park. This is like the big I'll park. Stand here until so I die if I have to. I don't care. I okay. want to vote. I am a citizen. Good morning, sir. I have a brain. To you. What are these weird flowers? Buenos dias, senor. Buenos dias. Someone said the park near the tailor. Is this the park near the tailor? Hello? Bonjour. No? You're all French. Huh? <laughs> Hello, sir. Bonjour, monsieur. Yes, oh. I'll only shut up once I can vote. Fine day. Oh, no, you're white. Yes. Sorry. Bonjour. Bonjour. Hmm. She doesn't seem to be in this park. Maybe she's gone now. That's a shame. I'd be so upset if I missed Tilly Let me accidentally. Good morning. I can say this all morning, day. Let me vote. Let me vote. Let me vote. Morning. Tilly? John! <gasps> John we found her! Tilly. Oh, That's she's Mrs. pregnant Tilly now! You. How are you? <laughs> okay, how are you? Congratulations! Hi. What just happened in Thank the background you. there? Was that a glitch? I'm well. Well and happy and I miss you and Good. Abigail. She's well. Jack's well. All is well, I think. I, <laughs> I never thanked you. For what you did. Oh, there's the trolley. Oh, bye. I still think about all of you all the time. My life is so crazy it's how now. Mine too. Yeah, all their lives are but so different. I still see a bunch of Charles and Uncle and Sadie. So not quite Good. so different as Abigail would like. I married a lawyer. He's a fine man. We live in a house. Us too. I'm sorry, I've got to go. I'm late, but can I write to you and Abigail someplace? Yeah, we're up at Beecher's Hope, over in Great Plains, West Elizabeth. I'll try. Of oh, course, cool. so we'll get a letter. Be well, John Marston. Bye. Oh, I'm so glad. Um, yeah, I'm glad I didn't ruin that by finishing the game too early. Very glad about that. Okay, cool. So she's she's gonna write to us. Nice. Um, I also need to find all this writing. Hey, that is apparently just like around Saint Denis. I'm trying to like look on random walls, but I think it's gonna be pretty hard to find. <laughs> is it? Would it be inside places? Oh my god. I simply must have some. I bet none of you boars have any. You're still here. And if you did, I bet none of you would share. Miss Powell, please, whatever you need, just ask. It's Miss Powell, and I need some bloody cocaine. Well, I can <laughs> help you there. Ma'am? Hello. We don't have any of that, but actually, we might have some gum. Is Jimmy here? Have you seen Jimmy, tough guy? I can't say that I have. No. Well, when you see him, punch him for me, will you? Bloody little man's late with okay. my cocaine. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so sorry that you don't have any cocaine. Punch him. Great. Thanks. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Morning, Mister. 
Morning. Uh, I don't know where we're going. Don't mind me. Move. 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 <laughs> Can I go in here? Hey -ho. Hmm. So I got a hint about where some of the riding might be. Is he the jade? Is he the gun shop? Hmm. Could be anywhere though. I mean, there's like a million walls. <laughs> I'm so curious about this round. We also have that treasure map we need to have another look at. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. Okay, so that hint was correct. <laughs> Inspect. Why is there a phone ringing somewhere? Oh, sweetest of napes, may your blood remain forever on my lips. Six there will be before the lust is sated. Right, well this does definitely seem like a crazy person who thinks they're a vampire. Hmm. You guys might have to give me some more hints to where the writing is because I'm like, are they, is it just in, <laughs> does the whole of Sun Denis? That'll take me ages. Are they You're all? Not allowed here. Oh. Excuse Don't make me. me get someone, just leave. You took me serious, didn't you? Getting all red in the face. Calm down, child. Right, yeah. Wait, so the first piece of writing we found here, right? We were like running with Charles. Pretty sure it was past the general store. And then the other one we just found, what, like in here? Are they all in a similar area or are they actually scattered everywhere? But if it really is something to do with vampires, I want to know about it, you know? I love vampires. Anything on this side? No. Hmm. Wait, and let's have a look at our treasure map. Um, gosh, I can't remember what it was called. Uh... This one? Was it this one? Yeah, it was this one. Torn treasure map half. Otis Miller? like a very good I feel like it's on this side of the map because this is kind of this is like where we found it right hmm I don't know I might have to look into that one a little bit more as well I don't know what these clues are. Threatened daily, whole world seems something at me. I have many years, numerous times, am innocent. Living with someone and the Tatum brothers. Only, like, only loyal friends I have left, maybe? Otis Miller? Might be the name. I don't know if that's really helping, though. Hmm. Secret spots. Oh? Can I? Oh shit, I can't get out now. Okay. <laughs> I got myself trapped in here. I can hear their conversation, but I can't see them. There we go. Um, oh my god, I'm going to be spending the rest of this episode just bloody racing around looking for writing on a wall. <laughs> Hi. Have you seen any weird writing? Okay there. 
Nope. Guess not. Hmm. Hello? No? What? Huh? I'm sorry. We are looking for that was really sorry. I thought that was a stranger mission, but it wasn't. I mean, I'm trying to think of like iconic locations in Saint Denis where a message might be. I feel like they put it in places that we might actually visit a lot, you know? The market, maybe? Anything in here? No. No. Maybe we need to read and uh, go buy a newspaper? Because surely if there's like a vampire killing people. <laughs> It'll be in the newspaper, right? You would think. Hmm. Now I don't know how to get out of here. Maybe we need to dedicate a whole episode to hunting down this vampire. Although it could be a little boring to watch me just walk around. Hello. Hello, everybody. Uh, hi, pig. Hi, little pig. Can I pat it? No. Sorry. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to, like, run into you. <laughs> hmm. No. Can I get out there? Who's yelling? Why is someone yelling in the distance? Like, relax. Uh. Hello. Hi. Sorry. Mm. Is there somebody in there we didn't check? It's him. Ah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to look around. Everyone relax. Anyone seen any writing on any of the walls around here? Hmm. Can't see anything of interest. There's a staircase here though. Hello. Oh, we, we can go up. <laughs> oh? Oh. This doesn't really take us anywhere. Okay. I think that's enough searching for writing today. It's probably really boring for you guys to watch. Mm. Maybe I'll try to do a bit of searching off camera and then I can just not, I'll just mark on the map the locations maybe? Hmm, okay. Onward to the next thing. Where's my horse? Where even are we? Alright, I am going to try to find Arthur's grave. And then I think that might be the end of the episode. I... Alright guys, so we are going to go... We're going to end the episode now. Trying to find Arthur's grave. So you guys kind of gave me directions a few episodes ago. So hopefully I'm heading in the right direction. <laughs> um... it's going to be to find though. In the post credit scene with Mary, it looks pretty high up. So I guess if we get to kind of... Oh. Oh. Sorry. I am not getting into trouble right now. Um, yeah, it looked pretty high up, so... 
feels like we're heading in the right direction. I kind of just placed a point on the map, kind of where you guys told me to go. I, I think if, didn't, one of you said that Charles went and buried everybody, so I assume he buried them in the, wall, the same place. And that all the graves are going to be together, or at least like the last few people that died. Um, but if not, I guess we have some more looking to do if they're not all in the same place. <laughs> okay, well this looks correct. We're going up. The music is nice too. seen one? Mm. Oh, oh. Jump. This way? I'm gonna get back on the road or Buell is gonna freak out like he usually does. Okay, we are going high up. Hmm. This is the right way. Charles definitely picked a beautiful spot. Very deserving of Arthur to be in a beautiful spot like this. Um, okay, hopefully we should be seeing Whoa. it somewhere on this mountain top. On the ledge, maybe? Have a look. Saddle. Um. Trying to have a look. Um. I know it's cold. Follow the path. It's sort of telling us to get on the path, but now we're going down again. Over here? I can't see anything that looks like a grave. I just looked at the map. We're actually pretty far off Ooh. where I am. Put the marker. Huh. put the mark I just assumed because we were on the mountain it would be here but I couldn't see it so it must be on another hilltop right, let's go down then maybe it's on one of these other ones oh gosh I'm cold we all need to wash I don't even think I have a Light of fire. <laughs> mm. No, this is the little hill house. Mysterious hill home, yeah. Um. Where is this grave? This is kind of where. I 
would have thought it was up that hill, but I couldn't see a gravestone anywhere. I guess I'm just blind as a bat right now, because it's a little bit dark. Which maybe well we should done, be boy. while we're standing here. Oh, they fixed the bridge. <laughs> oh. Okay, so let's head up this hill. up from this, I, I thought. I must have gone past it. No? He wants me to go off track? I don't think Buell is going to get up there. Um. Damn, how the hell did Mary get up here? <laughs> Maybe it's not up that hill then? We can go this way. Mm. Not, I probably should have slept because it's not helping that it's really dark right now. We're just on a cliff face. Easy now. Why'd the music just suddenly go really creepy? Down here? Ooh, ooh, sorry. Oh! Oh my god, I almost missed it. It's right there. went so creepy. <laughs> I don't think we drew anything. Maybe when, if we rest we'll draw something. Well, we found it. Oh, and look, he's under the stars. What a perfect resting spot for Arthur. Very fitting. <laughs> Can I? I wish I could like get him to sit next to it. Or like sit in front of it. Alright guys, that's going to be all for today. It's a little bit shorter of gameplay only because we had that um, credit scene analysis uh, thing at the beginning that went for pretty long. Um, but yeah, I was glad to just jump back in today and do bits and bobs. We found Arthur's grave. We finally found Tilly. Um, I think that was the last interaction that you guys mentioned. I feel like there was still some other people that we didn't really find out what happened to them. Um, we obviously, I can't see any other graves around this area, so they must be spread out in different locations. So I will definitely maybe need a few hints on who to see next. Um, maybe they're kind of near each other. Oh, it looks like another Evelyn Miller uh, mission just popped up. Um, we got another, we found another one of the writings for that vampire <laughs> thing. I don't know what it is really. I am assuming it's a vampire or a person, like a serial killer acting as a vampire. Also, I need to have a look uh, in, more into that map, treasure map. And uh, yeah, so I guess the next episode will kind of be another one like this. And then once we found a few of those things, I would like to maybe do the bandit challenge. Just have a whole episode where the, we do the bandit challenge. And then maybe an episode of, I don't know, looking at, for dinosaur bones. Or um, we definitely need to go and do all of the legendary animals. So, oh, that's such a beautiful picture. I love that it zoomed out just then. That's so pretty. 
Um, yeah, so don't worry, we are going to try and see as much as we can of this game. Obviously be patient with me, this is my first playthrough, I am not going to catch everything all the time. Um, but I am trying my best to be very respectful and appreciative and uh, really enjoy the game and continue to enjoy it. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this kind of bonus episode, the first of many I think, because I'm not quite done with this game yet. Um, and yeah, I guess in like the next couple of months we'll probably get into Red Dead 1. Uh, I'm a little nervous for that one because I think it's going to undo kind of the happy spot that we're in right now. And I do want to just stay in this happy bit, happy bubble for a little bit longer. Um, but yeah, if you guys liked this episode, please leave a like. Uh, please comment down below things that you need me to do in the next episode before we get into the challenges. And things like uh, if you have anything to say about... Um, the credit scenes that we talked about and yeah and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time. Bye!